Hey YouTube, I want to make a video today of uh, my pet safe wireless uh, dog fence. Uh, it's one of those ones uh, like you keep inside the house or your garage and it sends a signal around your house where uh, your dogs can, you know, go in a, a, a cir circle around your house. And uh, I think it covers about a half an acre and uh, they wear those little collars that goes around their neck and it shocks them if they go outside that half an acre. But uh, it's also adjustable so you can adjust it down and uh, like I said you can adjust it up to uh, a half an acre circle. And uh, basically um, my dogs here, I've got two uh, lab pits and uh, there are babies and you know and we love them and everything but at the same time uh i've got a trailer up next to the house and I, you know uh i parked it up close to the house one time and and the dogs uh just come up and chewed the wiring off my trailer so i was like nah, i can't have that and uh so i decided that i did not want them up against my house or or my building you know this is the back of my shop you know because i've got a an air compressor outside and you know i didn't want them up near my house chewing on like my solar lights or any of that so i was like well uh we'll just uh come up with a device that uh keeps them away from the house and uh anyways i'll start right here at the plug-in basically i've got a big extension cord uh plugged into an outside outlet uh, basically the first cords uh i believe a hundred feet long paid like 15 bucks at walmart for a hundred foot cord not much at all and then i think i've got another i think maybe 50 feet cord hooked onto that hundred so i got it like a 150 feet of cord connected out here and then where the two cords join together I've got them uh, just duct taped together. Uh, you can see where I've just got them duct taped to keep the water out. But uh, anyways, what I did was since I didn't want the dogs up near my house, I thought, well, what if I run two drop cords out here to the middle of the yard and take an old wheel and weld just a fence post or a piece of pipe to it and put a bucket a smaller bucket it's like a probably a three or four gallon bucket it's not quite a five gallon it's smaller than that but uh i took a, a bucket and uh i cut a hole in it in the bottom of it and i run my cord up through the middle of that bucket and uh, i put a some bracing across the bottom of it to hold that bucket secure but what I did was I took a bungee cord. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to do with one hand. But I took a bungee cord and secured it on the bottom. And then I wrapped it across the top to uh, hold the lid of that bucket on tight. Well, I took and I drilled a few little holes in that bucket to uh, keep some of the uh, heat out of the bucket. I know it's still going to be hot, but inside the bucket here inside the bucket is my wireless dog uh thing and you know my wireless dog uh fence controller and it fits perfectly right inside this bucket and you say you know does it get too hot in there yeah i'm sure it gets pretty warm in there but this thing's been outside for i don't know two years now and uh it seems to work great uh it fits inside of this bucket perfectly and i've got just enough room to to uh, have the cord come up and plug in uh right in there and uh you know all you have to do is just reach in and pull the thing out if you need to get to it or uh to get in there to turn it up or turn it down or whatever you want to do but uh like i said i've had this thing mounted inside that bucket for two years uh it seems to work great and uh i'll show you i meant to pull it out so you can see exactly which one it is but this one is the uh pet safe wireless pet containment system and it's got your high and low boundary controls and uh 
yeah, this thing's a little warm. But uh, as you can see, I just secured it in this bucket. And for the most part, it's pretty much, you know, uh, watertight. Uh, all but for the holes that I drilled in it. And, you know, they're so small of holes that they're not going to uh, let water in. But uh, the advantage to this is is uh, it just keeps our dogs away from the house. But uh, it gives them a big half inch half acre circle that they can just run around in and it keeps them from chewing stuff up up next to the house and they can still roam their little pathway here and you know as you can see i put their dog house uh, with the torn up tarp uh, i've got to put a new one on there but I, i've got their dog house in kennel uh there in the middle but they're free to roam this whole backyard you know they can run uh I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big pile right over there with an orange uh, mark on the bottom of it. They can run all the way to that, all the way to that big pine tree right up there, and they can run uh, almost, well, past that tree right there, on up the hill, and almost to the back of my shop. And uh, they can make it all the way to the edge of the woods. So they've got plenty of room. This is a, you know, uh, a good way to give your dogs the the area to roam. Um, the disadvantage, eh, but uh, to this system is uh, you've got to change the batteries on their collars about once a month uh, because you know if they do go bad, the batteries go bad. Uh, you know your dogs are kind of wondrous like mine are. They'll they'll run off and. Uh, and uh, you'll be in trouble chasing them so anyways youtube just figured i'd give you an idea and uh if pet safe happens to patent this idea i want some money out of it or at least a free unit <laughs> just joking uh but uh anyways see you youtube say hello bella or bye bye okay bye